This is Earth, the year 2100. New York is the headquarters of Space Patrol, and men from Earth, Mars, and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. This is the story of those men whose courage and daring make the universe safe for us all. One emergency is under control. I've got another to deal with. Marla? Yes, Colonel Rayburn? Has Gallosphere 347 landed yet? Yes, Colonel. Captain Dart and his crew are already in contamination control. Tell Dart to come and see me immediately. He's been cleared. We've no time to waste. Very good, sir. See that another Gallosphere is prepared for immediate takeoff. One will be ready in two hours. That's too long. This is an emergency. Make it an hour. Right, sir. We'll bring in an emergency rehabilitation crew. Ah, there you are, Dot. Come in, come in. Good afternoon, Colonel. I'm afraid you'll have to prepare for immediate takeoff. Suits me, Colonel. Where am I headed for this time? Jupiter. Jupiter? But we've never had trouble there before. There's our first time for everything. You mean they've, they've been invaded? I don't know. We've got a group of scientists out there, and they've kept in continual contact with us until the last two months. Since then, we haven't heard a word from them. Put Jupiter on the screen, will you, Marla? There she is. Those misty arcs show the paths of ionospheric storms. They've been unusually bad this year, and have sometimes stopped us receiving any direct signals from Jupiter. Maybe that's the reason you haven't heard from the men. I thought so at one time. But the silence has been too long. Anyway, another Gallosphere went into orbit round the planet to see if it could pick up any messages. But they didn't get a word. That's proof enough for me that something's wrong. Why didn't the Gallosphere land and investigate? Its orbital drive wasn't functioning properly, so it had to return to base. That's why I decided to send you instead. But I've no time to waste. Could you find out when my Gallosphere will be ready for takeoff, Marla? The rehabilitation of your Gallosphere will take too long, Captain Dart. The Colonel has ordered another one ready for takeoff. Fine. Then I'll tell my crew to get ready. I have already instructed them to return to contamination control. You will find them waiting there for you. You think of everything, Marla. A Venusian has the facility never to forget. Well, sir, I'll go at once. Goodbye, Captain, and good luck. Since I have been a member of Captain Dart's crew, I have not had the opportunity to return home to Venus. And I haven't been able to go back to Mars. But there's no use gripping. I am not gripping, Husky. I am griping. Ah, Captain, where are we going to this time? To Jupiter. Come on, Slim. Get yourself decontaminated. We don't want to infect other planets with Earth germs. I never thought I'd be seeing this corridor again so soon. Neither did I. It's a pity Rayburn didn't contact us before we landed. Then we could have gone straight to Jupiter. We'd still have had to come back. We couldn't go on a journey like this without getting our Gallosphere rechecked. You check off first, Slim. Galaxy 024 calling Central Control. Closing inner vacuum door. Central control to Gallosphere 024. Inner vacuum door are not closed. Primary drive functioning. Check. Orbital drive on. 
check. Interplanetary overdrive on. Everything's ready, Captain. Fine. Husky? Orbital speed zero to 20,000 miles an hour. Speed maintained. Scan of you are working. Check. Astro beam working. Check. Gamma rays on. Yoba rays on. All in order, Captain. I'm ready. Thanks. Galosphere 024 to central control. Ready for final check. Automatic course control on. Check. Gravity freezing cabin on. Check. Mesen power on. Mesen power slow and not too steady. Mesen power not picking up. What's your weight? 289,000 pounds. Recheck weight, please. You're too heavy. We have extra equipment on board for possible Jupiter landing. I'll switch on weight controllers. How is it now? Mesen unit gaining speed. All in order. Ready to lift. Takeoff program starting now. Speed, 5,000 miles an hour rising. Space velocity maintained. Cost deviation negligible. How does Earth look, Husky? Partially hidden by cloud, but there's a good view of Australia. Relax, boys. The worst is over. We better get into the freezer. How long is it for this time? The whole journey. The whole journey? But why? Because we're keeping 10G acceleration for half the trip. Let's come out of the freezer for the last half. Galosphere 024 calling control. We're going into the freezer. I'm setting automatic time control to operate for 24 days, 12 hours. If an emergency arises, please use your Zergon ray to switch off our time control. Message received and noted. Time control's on. Come on, boys. I hate going into the freezer. It's like being unconscious. While our body is at a subnormal temperature, our degenerative processes are halted. Mine aren't. I always wake up hungry. Slim means that while we're in deep freeze, we don't get any older. Now, come on, Husky. We're starting to gain speed, and we're going to feel pretty uncomfortable if we're not in the freezer. Oh, and I brought a snack along to eat. Husky, did that cake go through contamination? Sure it did. There's not a germ on it. Well, you can eat it when we're in orbit around Jupiter. In three weeks' time, the cream will be sour. Take the cake into the freezer with you. What a good idea. In a few seconds, Mars will block our view of the galosphere. There, it's gone. Keep track of it on the sonar beam, will you? We don't want to lose them. Time control's off. We must be nearing Jupiter. I'll check to make sure. It's okay. We've been in freeze for the proper time. I'll call Earth and see what's happened. I've got a signal from 024, sir. Will you speak to them? Yes. Colonel Rayburn here. Your flight has been normal and you're proceeding on course. In five minutes' time, you must change to orbital speed. Orbit Jupiter twice and try to make contact. If you don't succeed, come back. Very good, sir. Remember, Dart, if there's trouble there, you're not to land. What happens if they're fighting? We can't just pull out. You must. You're not a space soldier, Dart. You're a space patrolman. If there's trouble on Jupiter, we'll call in the galactic forces. Rayburn's made sure we don't get any fun out of this trip. It's his duty. I wish we didn't always have to let others clean up the mess. 
There's nothing I like better than a fight. Prepare to go into orbit, Slim. Our speed is too fast. Then switch off transfinitive drive. Apprehension considerable, Captain. We are still doing 40,000 miles an hour. If we don't go into orbit soon, we'll crash into Jupiter. Change the primary drive. I've already done so, but we're not slowing down. The brakes have gone, Captain. They've gone. Then we must switch on the mesen power. If we do so at our present speed, we'll blow up. If we don't slow down, we'll crash into Jupiter. We've a bad choice, Slim. But we've got to take a chance. Switch on the mesen power. I'm afraid, Captain. I don't mind danger, but waiting like this... If we don't slow down soon, it'll be too late. The mesen power's on. Oh, what a relief. Our speed now 10,000 miles an hour. Go into orbit. Right. I better do a final check with Earth. Galosphere 024, calling control. Can you hear me? Your voice is faint. Switch to sonar beam. Sonar beam on. Can you hear me? Voice fading. I understand. Well, that's that. We're really on our own now. Can you see anything yet, Husky? There's too much cloud. Say, Captain, what's it like on Jupiter? Oh, a bit like the Florida Everglades, uh, covered with Newfoundland fog. Sounds wonderful. Not a sign of Jupiter yet. Switch on the Yava rays. I've already done so, but it doesn't penetrate the clouds. I'll try the gamma rays. There's Jupiter now. I wonder if our men are still alive. I'll try and make contact with them. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Come in, please. Come in, please. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Come in, please. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Come in, please. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Come in, please. There's no reply. We'll keep orbiting and try for contact. Another Gallosphere is trying to make contact, Doctor. What shall we do? Nothing. They'll try for a while, and then they'll go away. What if they come into land? I don't like it. You've only yourself to blame. If you hadn't killed the Earthmen, we could have forced them to signal that everything was all right. I didn't mean to kill them. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Come in, please. They're making me nervous. I'll switch off. Stop. I like to hear what they're doing. That's more than I do. Why can't we leave now? We've enough loomy skins. If we stay another week, we can get a hundred more. Think what that means. We'll be the richest men on Mars. I'll settle for less. Well, I won't. Get the gun. I never thought I'd feel squeamish at having to kill loomies. But they're such pathetic looking creatures. If you want to quit... No, 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 I didn't mean that. Well, stop complaining. Do you think it's all right to leave this? Why not? The Jovians are too stupid to work it. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Gallosphere 024 calling Jupiter. Scientific headquarters on Jupiter, come in please. Why don't you answer? I can hear you buzzing, but don't understand what you're saying. Don't worry, we're coming into land.
I hope Rayburn won't be angry that we are disobeying him. Our orders were not to land unless we made contact, and we did make contact. We can't be far from headquarters. Have a look on the compass. HQ is about a mile to our left. We'd better take it quietly. If there are any invaders here, we don't want to meet them unprepared. Water ahead. Shall we make for it? No, the water here is poisonous. So's the air. Even with my molang, I don't feel so good. What's that? I don't know. I think there's something ahead of us. The compass has gone mad. It's flickering all over the place. That means somebody is using a vibra gun. And we're picking up the sound waves. Yes, something is going on. But I'm darned if I can see what it is. Look, Captain, over there. That's the noise we heard. That noise wouldn't make your compass go mad. It was a vibra gun that did that. Shh, duck down. Someone's coming. I'm sure I heard something. It was the lobbies. No, it wasn't. It was men's voices. What was that? Nothing. Take control of yourself. Will you? There's a no straight ahead. Shoot! There's one more gun. Wait in and get him out before he sees. All right. I... What was that? What? I heard that noise again. You're imagining it. I tell you, I heard a noise. I don't like this, and I'm not staying. Let's collect our skins and go. I have a feeling we won't find our men alive. I've got the same feeling. I'd like to get my hands on those two Martians. Wait. They're armed, and we don't know how many of them there are. They might have more men at HQ. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go and see. All right, but quietly. Our only chance is to take them by surprise. That must be headquarters. Take it quietly. Hang on while I fix the electron. Okay, now I can understand you. It is good you hear, Earthman. What's been happening? Men from Mars arrive on Jupiter. Earthmen see them and fight. All killed. All of them? Yes. Now men from Mars kill Loomis too. Look, see skins? Why are the Martians killing the Loomis? What use are the skins to them? I not know. Cannot understand Mars talk. Only see. Captain, are you okay? Well, look at that. He thinks you're one of the invaders. What do you mean? Those two men we saw are Martians, and they're killing the Loomis. How many Martians are there here? Only two, but very powerful. All other Jovians hiding in swamps. Can you help us? We'll have a try. I'd like to get my hands on those two. We'll have to be careful. They've got a Vibra gun, remember? They're coming now. You stand on one side of the door and I'll stand on the other. I'll 
take all the skins back to our ship. I must be crazy to listen to you. Another week here and we'd be... Another week and you'd kill more innocent animals. Who are you? We're members of Space Patrol. I'm Captain Larry Dart. I'm Dr. Amol. I am a scientist. And my assistant and I came here to study Jovian life. What happened to the Earth scientists? An unfortunate accident. That wasn't the story I heard. What happened to the Earthmen was unfortunate. But we cannot be blamed for it. Do you have permission to land on the planet? Unfortunately, we uh, have no license. Uh, an oversight, of course. Oversight. You came here to kill animals, and you're breaking the United Galactic laws. Husky's right. But a few animals. It looks more than a few to me. Why do you want the skins? That's my business. Tell him, Doctor. Maybe we can cut him in and... Uh, Be quiet. I won't. The skins have got special properties. They're as light as cotton wool, and if you hit them, they remain warm for years. A permanent hot water bottle. You fools! If only you had the sense to realize what this means, you could earn yourselves a million. At the expense of killing the only animal life on Jupiter. Who cares about animals? The colonists on Pluto would pay a fortune for these coats. Watch out, Husky. It's okay, Captain. Thanks, Joe. You haven't got eyes in the back of your head, but you've got the next best thing. Keep them covered, will you? I'm going to plastiform them. There is no need to do that. I'm not taking any chances. Captain, we'd better contact Slim. We don't want him taking off without us. We certainly don't. Larry Dart calling 024. Can you hear me? Is everything in order, Captain? Yes, we're coming back with two prisoners. Oh, and Slim, start cutting Husky's cake, will you? I'm starving. Let's get going. It'll take you a while to walk to the ship. If you dissolve this plaster for... Nothing doing. Can you take me to Earth with you? I'm afraid not, Joe. It's against United Galactic rules to take someone off another planet without getting permission. Will Earth scientists come here again? Certainly. I wish you stay here and make home with me. I'm afraid I can't, Joe. The Gallosphere is my home. But I'll be back to see you one day. Mm -hmm.